Those of you who follow me on Facebook know that I was recently in Europe and I traveled from Paris to Zurich and from there to Salzburg and to Prague and of course at the end to Hamburg. So while I was in Salzburg, I was eating Salzburger Knuckle and I remember that I wrote on that post that I would make that one of my next videos. Now, of course, I know that Salzburg is in Austria and this is called my German recipes. However, I think it's okay to make an Austrian recipe every now and then, especially knowing that my ancestors are from Salzburg actually. So what I need today is butter, milk, confectioner's sugar, some vanilla sugar, and how to make vanilla sugar, that secret is here, some regular sugar, five egg whites, some flour, three egg yolks, and the entire quantities and the recipe details are of course on my blog. The blog post is here, and also there will be a link at the very end of this video and underneath this video in the description box. And if you prefer the imperial measurements over the metric measurements, that's no problem. You can switch between these in the recipe block and you will have the measurement that you prefer. Now I start by adding the butter and also the milk and the confectioner's sugar into an oven proof um, casserole. And I'm currently preheating the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 180 degrees Celsius. So I'm also adding a little bit of my vanilla sugar. And I put all this onto the stove and heat it up and whisk it a little bit while doing that. to whisk the egg whites and while I'm doing that I'm adding the sugar. The next thing to do is to quickly um, mix in or fold in the flour and the egg yolk and also the lemon zest. And if you're always unsure what they mean when they say um, folding in something, it's like you go under the mass and have an upwards movement like this. And that's what they mean when it says folding in something. Okay, and it's just, just a bit, not much, okay? So that's it already. Now usually you have an oval casserole and uh, I don't have that, I have a round one. I can't always buy new stuff just because I'm making a video. So I'm using a round one. If you have an oval one, good for you, you can use that. So now I'm creating three pretty rounds. And it said that these mounds um, stand for the three mountains that surround the city of Salzburg. So, three peaks. And this goes now into the oven for about seven minutes. And here it is. So there is no doubt that the people in Salzburg do this more often and much better than I do. It looks a little bit crooked and their peaks usually look a little better, but I think you get the idea. So I have some confectioner sugars here that I've mixed with some vanilla sugar and this goes on top like the snow on the mountains. Now, and if you Remember the picture that I posted from Salzburg um, when I was at the Café Mozart? Um, there was a red sauce under the Salzburger Nockeln. It was some sort of jam, I think it was cranberry, if I remember that correctly. Um, 
I'm not sure if that is a tradition or if it's just a thing that they do at this cafe. Uh, the recipes that I'm using are from Austria and they say it's done with the milk and butter sugar mix. So I'll stick to that. All right, I think I should try this now. Let's have some. Mm. It's like eating a cloud. Very, very delicious. Very good. Mm. Yeah, and I think I like it with this um, bottom from milk and, and butter a little better than the jam. The jam was a little bit of an overkill. For my opinion, it was too sweet. But it's an option too. Why not? I can't stop. You see it. <laughs> it's so good. You should really try this. It's so easy. It requires a little bit of time um, with preheating the oven and everything, but in overall, it's it's a really simple recipe. Yeah. So, thank you, Austria, for this recipe. Thank you for watching. I hope you try this. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, hit the bell button, so you get notifications every time I post a new video. Yeah, and thank you for watching. Bye.